In this video, I'll show you how to build a stylish tree planter. Let's get right to it. In a previous video, I built a pot caddy from upcycled wood for my tree. It's time to enhance that project by adding wood side panels that will hide the plastic pot. The base of the tree pot has a smaller diameter than the top, so the first thing I'm gonna have to do is build out the caddy so that it's flush with the top. For this part of the project, I'll continue with upcycled wood as it will all be hidden beneath the outer side panels anyways. This wood was salvaged from an old table and just needs to be measured to length and cut. I'll sand down all the edges to remove any splinters. To attach the wood, I'll first pre-drill the holes with a small drill, and then countersink them using the Phillips bit. Next, I'll go around and attach each of these inner boards using a couple of screws. This second layer of wood is necessary to bring the base out to the appropriate width. For the side panels, I'll be using some spruce boards that will be stacked on each other. I'm going to attach them as low to the ground as possible, leaving only enough space so that the planter can still be rolled from place to place. Each panel will have five stacked boards, so I'll need to cut 20 boards in total. The two front panels are slightly wider than the side panels because I'll be overlapping the corners. Here, I'm just going to mock up the pieces so I can see how they'll all sit together. The panels will be constructed using vertical edge boards that will come together to form the corners. I'll first lay out the boards, measure the edges, and then cut them to length. Because the corners will also overlap, I'll need to leave a gap that's the thickness of one edge board. I'll use only one screw for each end of the boards. To complete the frame, I'll attach a top and bottom board as well. For the decorative pattern, I'll be using some thin cut trim that I'll cut using my miter box. It was a lot of cutting, so I'll spare you the ordeal. To attach these, I'll apply some outdoor wood glue. You could use tacks if you like, but glue allows for no visible markings. Now, because the side panels are a little thinner, they are more rectangular than square shape. The decorative pattern will not work with the 45 degree angles that I've already cut. To remedy this problem, I'll add two additional trim pieces at the top and bottom to square out the area. This will allow all the patterns to remain similar, the only difference being, two will be a little smaller. With all the panels assembled, it's time to attach them to the base. Here we can see how the panels overlap each other at the corners. For a consistent height off the ground, I'll rest each panel on a couple of scrap pieces while I measure out where the screws will go. I'm using longer screws here as I've got to go through the edge boards as well as the spruce. I'll use a single screw at the top of each corner to secure the panels together. Before I go any further, I have to address the plastic handles on the tree pot. They'll get in the way of the side panels, so I'll use the hand saw to remove them. Now I can load the tree pot into the planter before attaching the final panel. Pro tip, lift with the knees, not the back. Yes, I'm being facetious.
With the final panel secured, there is only one step to go. I'll be adding a top trim to cover the exposed corner joints. A few nails in each will discreetly secure them to the planter. Here we can see that the caddy still serves its function. Well folks, I hope you've enjoyed the video and take away some ideas for your own projects. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, please subscribe.